Hello everyone, my name is Val Robin. Welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet DLC. Uh, it is technically the same day as I'm recording all the other ones. I just took a quick nap, or a long nap actually, and a shower. Cause I had stayed up all night because <laughs> I'm recording all this in one go because all of my Poketubers that I watch are all playing it and I want to watch all of them. But, uh, I did also bring everybody up to level 76, which is the same level as his highest. I changed their moves around and gave them all items. So we're gonna try this again! Yep. Yeah, I had to re-look up what level his Pokemon were, and they said that his team is, like, um, competitively set up. Okay, you have a focus sash, I know that. Scissor. Or not. We're gonna X scissor Mary Poppins, thank you. I don't I only looked up his highest level, so I don't actually know. But, um, I, I didn't look up what items they held, I just remember, I feel like some of them had, um, berries and stuff, so I added Bug Bite. I looked at all of my members' highest attack stat, whether it was special or, or, um, just regular. I did have to give Yikes. I did have to give Yancy a a better um or a a regular attacking poison move because it was stronger. My score is water flying. Or ground flying, I mean. I should have terrestrialized. Well, stay alive, please. I should have terrestrialized. And here I was complaining about how his his thing was was not the same. You know what it is? A lot of the trust the Pokemon that have different terra types don't have moves, so it doesn't hit for stab. But he has Scald. So it works. I guess I guess they're a they, but okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Get some health back. Maybe burn. No? No, not burning. Yes, burning. Fantastic. I love that that move does that. Okay, he had a big 
scary. Perfect. It's going much better than last time. Given Turbo the charcoal. Why did I give him the? Just remember that I have a charcoal. It's fine. He has leftovers. Okay, okay I'm going to heal because I'm slower. Two hits with the grass move. It should be okay. Oh! Never mind, I guess. It's okay, though. That's our first, it's our very first fainting. It's fine. Scorpion a flying type move. He doesn't know any ground moves, which is weird because he's a ground type, but it's fine. Yet. I'm tired of losing. I think this is his last one. Uh oh. Oh, that's scary. I don't like that. If he is faster, I am healing. Maybe my Rocky Helmet will, will take him out if he does a physical move. Oof! Oh, he froze me. Hey! Nice! I, I didn't have any other item to put on him. <laughs> Figures out. Dude, you're the first person I feel like in this entire game where I've actually lost the, the battle. Like, it's okay. I knew I couldn't win. But I just couldn't give up. 
I'm proud of you, buddy. You're the first person in the game who's beaten me ever. I'm sorry. Oh, Kiki. I think it's time for you to catch Ogre Pond Bell. You ready? Do you want to have a quick ball like most of mine? Oh, it wants to battle me. Okay. Um. Are my Pokemon healed? Probably not. Oh. Oh. I probably should have healed before doing <laughs> Okopon's really capable of. Oh. Um. Well, all my Pokemon are healed up. Ivy Cudgel. What does that do? Okay, so he's definitely a grass type. Look at you adapt you to Ogopon type. I knew you could handle this. Thank you for not being mean anymore. <laughs> I appreciate that. Ow! I'm terrestrializing, so I'm not ground type anymore. <laughs> If you're gonna do that... Oh, it's not on his head, it's on his shell. That's cute. Oof! Oh, Turbo! Thanks, buddy! Max potion right now. Oof. Thankfully, that doesn't do as much as it was doing. go. Fun. Yeah, this is gonna... Ivy Kudjo mu must depend on the mask then. So we can get a safe switch in. Oh, I 
Thanks. faster than me too. I'm just gonna have to try. Yeah, no. Oof. Okay, I got two super effective moves. I'm gonna leave Storm. Please be not very effective. Thank you. Okay. Retrieve the mask, gain overcome strength. Stone. Okay, I'm guessing this is rock type or ground type. So I'm sure I'm still. Ouchies, ouchies. Ouchie. Woo! That did a lot. Okay. Okay, that like brought me up to full health. Okay, so he's probably gonna do. Oh no, he's not. I thought he was gonna do aggressive train. Okay. I think he's just got one more. I like that his little cloak changes depending on the mask. Masha goes down, I'm gonna go to Mary Poppins. Cause she's bug type. Okay, this should be resisted. It'll be grass. Ow! Buh! Catch it yet? You show Ogrepon more of what you can do. Yeah, I I know the the mask is. I I I know how you do Terrasa Pokemon. You can't catch them until they're not terrasalized anymore. Turns the stronger one and 
objects in there. All right, good job, Mary. There we go. <laughs> Boom. That was like four boss battles in one. Here's your chance to catch it. What ball am I gonna put you in? I'm gonna put you in a dust ball because it matches your colors. And you like caves. It should be nice and nice and comfy for you. I'm not naming this one, by the way. It's very rare that I will name. Um, oh, it's only 311. It's very rare that I'll name Pokemon like this, like legendaries. I think I I did name my um. No, I'm not giving him a nickname. Boxes, we need to get them out! We need to take them out. Oh. They're my bag's other items. Well done, Val. That was pretty impressive. Congratulations. Thanks, Kieran. Yeah. Oh, he's so upset. Can't I be like you, Val? What are you talking about? No, don't cry. Dude! I hate when he gets like that. Don't worry about him. He's the one who said the winner gets to be Ogrepan's partner. Let's head home. I'm glad you're, that you're not mean to me anymore. I did not appreciate when you were not nice to me. <laughs> Good morning, got a message from Carmine. She says she's waiting for you at Laura's Plaza and you should hurry up and meet her there. Why do you two always use me as your messenger boy, huh? I didn't ask you to do that. Should be mad at Carmen. Not not me. Oh, I have a- Okapon's a girl? Or I guess mine is a girl? That's interesting. Karen, I'm gonna be with you in a minute. I I gotta finish up this story. I'm pretty sure other people like. Did her as soon as possible. I think she's the only other thing I have to do after completing this one. Who knows, maybe this will be the last. Ooh, phone apps. Do you have another one for me? Oh. No. I think I have to catch the other ones too. Hi, Carmine. Or Carmen. There you are. You took your time. You were really bad with great yesterday. I guess the Master Chief of Kawad has completed its mission. Oh, Kiki. He shut himself in his room ever since he got home yesterday. That's boring. Yeah. You don't need to feel guilty or anything, Val. It all... Sorry, because I sh said we should keep the whole Ogre Pond thing a secret. When you think of it, Kiki's got a bit of an ego too. He doesn't take losing well. How's Ogre Pond doing? To be honest, I've grown really fond of Ogre Pond myself. I guess Kiki's rubbed off me a bit. Did he let me have a battle with Ogre Pond? Sure. <coughs> Bless me. 
I knew you said yes. If you're not the one to turn out a good battle, let me know when you're ready. Well, what? Uh oh. Sorry, I thought you'd be healed, sweetheart. We got a fire type. I'm gonna give it the wellspring mask. Oh, it's cute. It's cute and it's blue. All set and ready to go? Yep. I don't have a water type, so. wake up early for this. You better make it worth my time. Girl, you're the one who asked for it. But you're real popular back home. I am. Everybody knows who I am. I saved the whole region. I'm the main protagonist, this is how this works. Okay. Yeah, I am gonna switch, because Livani is grass type, and I'm water grass right now, and that's scary. Or I'm water right now, I mean. I appreciate that the ivy things change, changes type depending on which mask it has. Ooh. Oh wow, it like has a weapon. I didn't see that last time. Dark, I think. Time for the face off of the Galar Pokemon. Boom. Hello. Well, 
you don't, that's not nice. Yeah, that's what happens. Get out of here. Lashing out at me. Oh, and now she's not mad. <laughs> lost, but I'm also not surprised. You know, Ogre Pong, do get along really well, don't you? It's almost making me jealous. I'm taking a screenshot. I'm sending a, a picture of this Pokemon to all my friends. I actually, uh, it's awkward to tell you, but I... Hi there, Val. It's Briar. All student pairs have completed their orientating. Want to have some words to go back to the community center? Message received loud and clear. Oh, Carmen is with you? Wonderful. That's one less phone call I have to make. She has never ceased to amaze me. It seems you become fast friends the moment you spend even the briefest amount of time together. Head on over to the community center. I'll be there with the rest of the students. Well, yeah, because developmentally, ch kids make friends make good friends a lot faster than adults do. She's right about it being the briefest amount of time. We only just became friends and now we... Let's go see what the nosy old guy wants. I don't want to, but I guess I can play nice one last time. Because you are nice, you're just... You're just a tsundere, that's what you are. You just pretend that you're mean, but you're not actually. I just need to heal my Pokemon real quick. Thanks. Ah, Val. Everyone's here. Well, most of us, anyway. Now the kitchen gives some words. It's giving her full attention. Coming, but told her student parents have now finished visiting all the signboards. Means your self-guided tour is at an end. We found them all. That was so much fun. Thank you for saying so, and thanks for taking part. Know what? I have a little gift for each of you. Know what she said? I think you wrapped the tour so quickly, you're quite the prodigies. Our visitors from Haldea still have heaps of time left to endure Kitakami and all has to offer. Continue to make yourself at home and explore as you please. However, Car Carmen, Kieran, and I will need to return to the Blueberry Academy a little early. Oh no. Been some development concerning the Great Crater, we really must be heading back. I realize I was there as your chaperone, but you kids are proven very capable. I'm sure you'll be fine without me. Thank you for looking after them in my stead. Is there something you wanted to say? My brother's not feeling well, so let me just speak. So you know, this is the village where I was born. I'll be honest, I didn't want any outsiders coming here at all. Looks like our home is being turned into a tourist trap for a bunch of ignorant strangers. We spent some time together, and none of you were the way I imagined at all. You were all really nice once I actually talked to you. Should be so quick to judge people I didn't know anything about. I guess what I'm trying to say is I had fun. Thank you all, all so much for visiting our village. Especially you, Val. Aww. I'm glad you came to visit. Oh, I'm gonna see you again soon. I mean, it's not like this is goodbye forever. Blueberry has Academy has tons of strong trainers. You better come visit soon. I will. Oh, I need still need to get packed and everything. This is not goodbye, okay? We're definitely gonna see each other again. I'm getting emotional! <laughs> I'm about to tear up. This is so sad. Hi! It's karma for you. You never know what to expect from her. 
Each moment spent with your kids is just dazzling. For an adult like me, it's almost blinding. Anyway, that wraps up this school trip. Let's give our tarot paper a big great thank you. Thank you! I'm assuming- I'm assuming it'll be like the DLC where I can just go back and forth. But I still have stuff to do! Tying his hair up. To be continued. Oh. We're gonna have issues with him in the part two. Cause we're gonna see them again. We're, we're going to Blueberry Academy for a little bit. Um, I don't know whether it's this year in the winter or. I'm kind of curious. Oh no. How do I? I can. Cool. Well, I'm not gonna do that though. I got stuff to do still. I'm assuming that I can still, I got. I can catch the loyal three. Hey, what's up? Sorry, I had a lot of stuff to do. Hey, don't tell me. You caught over 150 Pokemon for the Kitsukami Pokedex? Now I know you're the real deal. Pretty impressive. You must be special, kiddo. You probably know more about the Pokemon here in Kitsukami than I do and I got here first. Which reminds me, I got a favor to ask you. A real Pokemon catching pro like you is just what I need. Yeah, what kind of favor? Oh, did I tickle your curiosity? Glad you don't seem to be afraid to poke your head into new things. Let me tell you what I'm about. Uh, the reason I came here to Kitsukami was to find a certain Pokemon to photograph it. I've been searching on my own for ages, but I still haven't found it. Do me a solid by helping me with my search. I'd owe you forever. Rumor has it the Pokemon I'm looking for is pretty ferociously strong. Just think, you could catch it and bring it along with your adventures. Wouldn't that be helpful? That enough to pique your interest? If so, I need you to prove me strong enough to help. Turn up on this thing and you know you're cut for it. I want to get a good shot of you looking broke at everything. Hold on. Oh, Rapun is so much lower level than everybody else. I gotta get my shots in focus. That's so strong, don't hold back. Don't mind me snapping a few shots while we're at it. Be a nice heroic expression, would you? I'd take a real good shot if you do. <laughs> Hold on. This mask makes him look so sad. Nice move, guys. See, you're not distracted by the camera. Oh no! He's sleeping. He probably needs that. He's got bags under his eyes. <laughs> oh no, that's just rude. Come on. that she does that to like steady her camera. Leave on.
find a new challenger. This one would be easy to beat. I didn't see how many Pokemon she has. Does she have six? Oh, she just has two. And she's only level 70. <laughs> it's like the ultimate shot. Sorry, Leafeon. Now that's a keeper. You're something, all right. It got a bunch of good shots of you in action, too. I think you have what it takes for you to hold against your own if it's a Blood Moon Beast. The Pokemon you're after? Certain Ursa Luna I've been searching for is known as a Blood Moon Beast. You heard of Ursaluna? Where it is they weren't weren't all that uncommon a long, long time ago. Ursaluna is a Pokemon that usually has a big yellow mark on his forehead, resembling a full moon. They say this one's mark is red. Red moon, as if seen through a veil of blood. That's why they call it the Blood Moon Beast. It's not why blood moons are a thing, it's actually solar eclipses. This Ursaluna, the Blood Moon Beast, used to live in my homeland way back when people still called the region Hisui. Seemed like it crossed over the waters here to Kitakami at one point and made itself comfy. Two of us work together, I bet we could be the ones that finally find and snap a shot of it. And if we do. Kiddo! No, not kiddo. Partner. Let's tackle this together. We can find the Blood Moon Beast for sure. Let's do it. You'd be up to it. Don't worry, I'm sure to reward your hard work. Where it has a Blood Moon Beast is seen on the area northeast of the Oni Mountain called the Timeless Woods. I'll head that way now and wait for you there. Come on, Growlithe. So she's fr she, her homeland. So she that means she grew up in Sinnoh. Neat. All right. Well, I'm gonna head that way. Probably level up Okapon on the way there. If I find any, I'm I'm not gonna fast travel. I'm just gonna, like, do any raids, give Okra Pond candies. Thanks, girl. Yeah, if you're running low on money, do some raids. You get all these kind of presents and things. Found a mass outbreak of Slugma. It's not. There's Mimikyu out here? I love Mimikyu. <gasps> Litwick! Oh, Litwick! Hi, sweetie! Oh, and it, it's actually nighttime. It's not like we're not stuck in a in a thing. Flames usually out there shining when it's absorbing life force from people or Pokemon. This is absorbing people's life forces. <gasps> there you are. Good, yeah, just like that. Don't get me cute. I'm just gonna keep watching. It's you, clever thing. Lovely. I'll hold that pose for a sec. That's my little cutie pie. Look at you. I didn't even know you could pull off that kind of expression. So photogenic. You're just too adorable. You know that? I could eat you right up. An extra serving of cuteness just for me? Don't mind if I do. Need more. Someone give me extra storage and a napkin, too. Hi. Hey, you made it. I don't even see any of that. You weren't listening in on stuff. Nope, don't want to know. Forget I asked. I just didn't want to disturb what she was doing. It's right around the part of the forest where they've supposedly seen the blood moon beast. Curse the sightings have been on night with heavy fog. Ooh. 
forgot this was the individual Pokemon appear on Foggy Nights. I'm sure the Bloodweed Beast is one of them. It's already dose. Ow. Better land a hand. He just wants his picture taken. That's all. He just wanted his picture taken. <laughs> This is definitely like a mid-story thing. Ow, that really surprised me. Camera's okay though. Thanks, partner. I see you too, of course. Oh, well, bad for the Ariados. Probably wasn't expecting to see humans out here. But only attacked because it was surprised. We should set up a tent. Then I'll let Pokemon know we're here and help help them get used to us. Oh, it has Shaman on it. That's cute. Let me get my mission so we can end for the day. She may be old, but she's still fine. It was my dad's, but he wasn't using it, so I just helped myself to it. Say hello to our new base of operations for a survey of the Blood Moon Beast. That's way more wary than ordinary Pokemon. That's why there have been so few sightings, or so they say. Since we're gonna do some slow and steady groundwork if we wanna find it. I need your help with, with most is photographing Pokemon. I want you to take fo photos of the Pokemon that appear here on Foggy Nights. I'm looking for pictures of good variety. I'll register your photo data in my handy Pokemon searcher. We'll train it to ignore any sign of other Pokemon that live around there. Clearing all the noise will help us pinpoint exactly where it is. You actually understood that? I'm just rattling off what the manual said. Picked up this thing at a thrift shop. I don't understand how it's supposed to work. My preliminary surveys made me think there's actually dozens of Pokemon species that tend to show up around the forest on foggy nights. We can split the load, so try to stack photos of ten species, tack them together. They're clear, like nice and big, can sneak up on foot, no riding on big noisy. Wait for a foggy night. Thank goodness. Just gonna get get out there and survey. Is there like a specific one I'm looking for, or is it just... I got Sudamudo. I don't know if I 
that's clear. Careful, you might trip over this fellow. It's cool. It's, it's very Legends Arceus. counts. See that? Perfect. Acorn, pretty easy to mistake it. I do like that they give you, she gives you like, yes. Pseudo. Motad, hi babies. I just need to take a picture. Waterweed Pokemon. Waterweed? There's one in the tree over there. Spinneract. Spinneract is in the tree. Oh, he's sleeping. Oops. <laughs> I fell in the water. survey.
pile of photos we both took. Every Pokemon is known to appear. Pulled it off. I can tell you how much I appreciate this. Now we send our Pokemon to the Pokemon Searcher. Oh, you took a real good. You got an eye for this. I think you must be taking this one. Um, capturing them as they are. Oh, you really want to show how the Pokemon live, pure and adulterated. I, uh, I'm actually in a bit of a slump myself. Every kid, even a kid like you, knows what a slump is, right? Like when nothing seems to go right for you. Believe it, when I was younger, I was lauded as a photography prodigy. Everyone loved my photos. Absolutely everyone. But the past few years, I feel like I lost my spark. My photos show it. They lack heart. The awards have all dried up. The accolades, too. The longer it keeps dragging on, the more I lose sight of what I even want to capture with my photos. I heard stories about the Blood Moon Beast. I left for Kitsukami as soon as I could. I thought that if I get a photo of astounding like that, then maybe. Maybe something inside me will change. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> rough. That's all you got? I'm not very good at this comfort thing, kid. Oh man, that killed me. Oh, the machine's doing his thing with that jingle. Same one that my dryer plays when it's done with the load. Too funny. Who decided to use that? You just give anything a jingle now? Anyway, we filtered all our data. Looks like there's one hit out there. It's gotta be the blood we beast. Finally found it. This is it. You know, talking to you really helped me throw off some of that old tension. You're ready to go meet the blood moon. How about you, partner? You ready? I am, but we're gonna have to do that next time because this episode's getting kind of long. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, go and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next next episode with the Blood Moon Beast. Bye bye.